Good day, good day! <laughs> Welcome to Roverland! How the honk are you today? Yeah! Take a look at these buggers I got here today! Yeah! We are going to be looking at the Corgi Junior's Land Rover. That's right! Made in Britain, Corgi Junior's Whiz Wheels Land Rover. All right, this is a predicament I've got. <laughs> there is no database for these little buggers, so I can't tell you exactly what is going on. I've got a couple of different things here, and I'm not really sure what's going on, so I'm going to need your guys' help. Comment down below. While you're commenting, make sure you subscribe. I don't know, there's a subscribe, and uh, come on over to Facebook too, Roverland, and uh, let me know what you guys have to say about this. All right, so these little corgis, juniors, I guess it's called a number 16, and uh, I'm not really sure where these really begin at. I'm going to say that it's this one. <laughs> I don't know. Follow along. Now, one source said that they started in 1971. Another source says 1975. They ran this metallic green 1975 to 1977. And uh, yellow window... And it's got the Land Rover on the bottom with Whiz Wheels, Corgi Juniors, with the patent number there, number 69. Um, so I've got three of these. Uh, I've, I think I pretty much picked up most of these off from uh, eBay. I might have found one of these in the wild. But uh, pretty much all um, in pretty rough, played with condition. But uh, not too bad, not too bad. They got a little tow hitch on the back with a uh, little uh, prong thing there. It's a, it's a very, very nice little model. Very detailed. Uh, I really like it. Got a little doorknob there. Uh, I like that it's got the little hinge, which as far as I know, that style of hinge was on the Series 1, not the Series 3 that this is. <laughs> So kind of a little bit goofy there, but it does have the uh, the vents in for the cab underneath the lights, uh, knife edge uh, on the uh, hood there, and uh, it comes with the chrome wheels uh, and a little gas cap there. But the pickup, uh, this is to be the 109 pickup. Now, as far as I know, this bugger here was produced from 1975 to 1977. That's as close as I could get, and I hope you guys can help me out uh, filling in the blanks here. All right, so if we uh, go to the next one, which is this one here, and I, I got some information from toymart.com, and uh, now these are kind of on the downward trend as far as money and value wise, but uh, they're holding, they're holding, but on the downward slide. So this is a metallic um, green still, still kind of the same base to them, uh, but they're, they're um, same wheels. But there is a slight different to, a difference to them, and uh, I didn't pick up on it right away until I looked at a different model, and I found it a uh, different uh, variation of this, and I found it. And uh, if I could just uh, have you look right here at this ridge, right here. See how pronounced, oh, if we get focus here, see how pronounced that ridge is there? It's right on the bed line, and uh, this one here doesn't have that pronounced bed line ridge. So, what I'm assuming is 
that this is the earlier model that did not have that ridge line. Then later on, this one here came out, metallic, green still, yellow, same base whiz wheels, same wheels, but the casting was changed a little bit, and I think they might have called this uh, the Land Rover, uh, the Corgi Juniors 16B with this ridge on there. And uh, just uh, virtually the same thing. Three ribs on the top. You see the hinges for the hood. It's got little toolboxes in the back. Very, very nice. Okay. Yellow tinted windows. All right. Then I found out that in my collection, I found this one here and this other one that's pretty well beat up and, and uh, play worn. But this one here is virtually the same thing. If we can get some light on it and focus, virtually the same thing other than now this one is a clear windowed version. Yeah, with that same pronounced ridge right here on the back of the bed there. So I'm not really sure if that is uh, different years or just, um, you know, just a different uh, run. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Um, what, where this ridge comes from is this one here, and I got two of these. I thought I had one of these on the card. I've been bidding, them, bidding on them on eBay, and I have not gotten one of these yet. But the base has changed a little bit here. They've kind of gotten a little bit, uh, I don't know, cheaper with the uh, axles and stuff like this. I think this is the later of the models, 1973 to 1983, Corgi's Junior Land Rover. Uh, they dropped the 69. The other ones had, uh, let me put one of these down here because we don't need to look at uh, both of them and try to drop them. But the first one uh, had uh, uh, that 69 at the end of this uh, patent number. And now this one here has just got this uh, different patent number. So it's like, okay, it's a different era. But, uh, yeah, it's just, um, there, so this one here is what is called, I believe, the Corgi Juniors, and let's focus here, holy cow, focus, uh, the Corgi Juniors Land Rover, and this is supposed to have a green tilt to it with a, um, white sticker with a red cross on it this is the ambulance and I do not have uh, a top uh, to one of these or on the card or anything like that but this is a matte green and uh, much much different than the uh, metallic green and I you can really see that there there's really really good I got the lights going on really good today so I believe this one yeah 73 to 83 and the ridge is where that canopy snaps onto. So I think at this time is that's when they kind of changed the casting so they could make this one, uh, even though this one was in 78, uh, they came out with 73 to 83 with the Land Rover Ambulance. So that's kind of explains the kind of the progression and what I think is going on here and how I got the to this. But now I have this one here, which I paid a whopping two fifty four. <laughs> I'm not really. I think I got this off of eBay not too long ago. But anyway, metallic green, but it's got the later style. Um, base to it if it's if this is the later style base uh with a different style of uh chrome wheels and it does not have really well i guess it does have the pronounced uh, ridge on there so i don't know if this is uh in the gap here between uh the older style 
uh, chrome wheels, but they, they use the flat black uh, wheels for that one. So there you go, I, and a clear window, of course. Yeah, the Army the Army ones had clear windows. So I, I'm thinking like these here are uh, the newer ones, or the, the oldest ones with the yellow with no rib on them, on the box. Then came this one with the uh, yellow windows with the rib. All right, and then came the clear windows with the rib. And then came uh, the army one with the uh, black wheels with no chrome on them, same as the older ones, with the rib but clear windows. And then this one here is, uh, yeah, is an orphan. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Must be a transition in here. I, I'm not really sure. I, and, and boy, oh boy. Corgi, there is not a database to let you know what, uh, you know, Corgi um, timeline or anything like that. So it's really kind of hard. So what I need from you guys is a comment down below. Go over to Facebook, comment there, and show me yours on the card. Lose, let me know where this guy falls in at and uh, what year really he comes around to. I don't know. Uh, before I leave, I got to remind you, uh, yes. July 12th is coming up. We're celebrating July 12th, 2019 here and July 12th, 2020. It's a Sunday. We're going to do a boxing video and giving that away uh, to one lucky um, subscriber. So uh, get ready for that. Mark that on your calendar. All right, 12 minutes. We've got to get out of here. Thank you for joining me for a Corgi Juniors number 16 and 16B and uh, 79 <laughs> Land Rover Ambulance. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We're going to focus in before we leave. And as always, remember slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.